We're going off to a place called Colmere Lake, another place in Shropshire that's quite picturesque, and I'm meeting up with an old friend that you guys might remember if you've been watching the channel for a long time, Dave Outdoors. He's recently brought himself a van, and he said to me the other day, he said, mate, when are we gonna do our first staff camp? And tonight is the night. We're camping in a spot that isn't exactly legit, should we say, so it should be interesting. There's loads of signs up saying no overnight camping. But we'll see how we get on with our inconspicuous setups. Right fire blankets, fire blankets. Where would you find fire blankets? Now I've already got a fire extinguisher in the car. You guys wouldn't have seen it. It's tucked in the back, just in case everything goes uh, hit the fan style. One by one meter. Okay. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for that. So we only actually need three ingredients from here today. I need a pizza base, which is what I had last time. I need some peri-peri chicken and some mozzarella grated cheese. I'm not gonna use the ball this time. I'm just gonna use a bag of grated mozzarella because that ball of cheese was far too wet and made my pizza soggy. That'll do. I like a bit of curry curry. Right, let's get some cheese. That's what I'm looking for, grated mozzarella. Fantastic. That's all we need. Don't worry about the receipt, mate. All right, cheers, thank you. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Is this even a road anymore? Oh, hang on a minute. We got a lake, ladies and gents. We have a lake with a very crappy road. <laughs> Look at that beautiful house. Proper thatched roof. Alright, yeah. Alright, mate. Um, I've just drive, driven past the lake. I saw the lake on my right and I also saw the canal, but I didn't see any car park. Am I like on the other side of the lake, do you think? <laughs> mate, you're not. Have you come off the main road and turned left? Or did you come off the main road and turn right? Uh, I came off the main road and I turned right, I believe. And then I saw the canal. And now I'm just looking at pheasants flying all around me and uh, going down a road that doesn't look like it's been maintained for about 20 years. <laughs> oh, right, okay. All right, mate, I'll send you a pin. Yeah, send me a pin and I'll, I'll see you shortly. All right, mate, see okay. you Okay, see you, mate, bye. <sighs> Country life. Watch your toes. Yeah, go on, you're all right. Me and Dave are gonna go for a nice little walk around Colmere Lake, just on the outskirts of the tree there. And then apparently, we're gonna have a nice little sunset tonight down above the lake, just on that direction, is it, Dave? Yeah, so it should set just over there behind these clumps of trees. Never been here before, I'm ashamed to say. I've been to Ellesmere Lake about a year and a half ago, you guys would have seen with my dad, but never been to Colmere Lake, so this should be a nice little explore. Anyone else been here? Leave a comment below. Those are great views around. Free car park as well. Although Dave did make me aware of a uh, sign saying there's no overnight camping. But we'll see how we get on. Look at that incredible view. How have I not ever been here? And there's a lovely little church there in the distance, just over my right shoulder. Do you know what the name of that church is, Dave, or not? I haven't got a clue, mate. No. So I'll leave a comment if uh, you know what that church is. So just at the top of these steps, is what I believe to be a canal. Wow. Little barge down the distance.
So technically, we're not supposed to camp here. No camping overnight. No parking or tenting. Hmm. One night, tucked in the corner under the tree. I think we'll be all right. Well, fingers crossed anyway. So this is the setup tonight. I've decided to keep the bed sheet permanently on the bed now because I can't be arsed with the faff of pulling it out from under there and rolling it all back out again. And I'll show you another little upgrade that I've got, which is quite handy. And would you believe that my bed in the back of the car is longer than my bed at home? <laughs> I've managed to get a little off cut and shove it on the end of the mattress. So the mattress itself is 190 centimeters in length, your standard mattress length for singles and doubles. And then just a nice little off cut here, shoved into the end of the bed sheet because I'm an extra tall bugger. I think I'm about six foot three, so uh, my feet do overhang a little bit. And then to keep my feet nice and warm tonight, I've got this little blanket that I'll shove down the bottom there, because that's the one thing that I struggle with is cold feet when camping in the car. And it keeps me nice and toasty. The bedding's in the front with a couple of the window covers. Got some water there, pack it of crisps if I get hungry. But I'm hoping the pizza will keep me nice and full up tonight. Okay, so first things first, we need to make the sauce for the pizza. Now, I haven't actually got a bowl with me this time. I forgot to bring a bowl. So I've just poured some of the chopped tomatoes out of this tin here. I'm gonna put some tomato puree in. And just as a quick mention as well, if anyone's interested in going to see what Dave's cooking tonight and how it goes down in his belly, I'll leave a link to Dave's channel in the description. <laughs> That's the one downside of trying to cook on a very spongy memory foam mattress is that you've got no purchase when you're trying to cut out. There we go, that's better. Yeah, we just got some people returning back to their car in front there. Let's see if I can show you. <laughs> Dave's cooked up a Mexican meal and I'm cooking up pizza. <laughs> Not your usual uh, thing you see in a family walking spot. So that can be eaten hot or cold. Let's give it a little nibble first, shall we? That's not bad at all. Mm. Oh, mama. Oh, look at that. That is coming on nicely. Get a few more minutes on that dough and then we'll be ready to eat. Well, <laughs> that's our little piece of dough for our second pizza. <laughs> what the frigging hell is that? <laughs> Do you want a slice of pizza, Dave? I'll try a bit. Yeah. Have a try of that, it's very, very hot. Oh, crikey. That it. looks good, bud. Chicken and chorizo. Mmm. That's a nice pizza. I feel like I'm 14 again with a beer. <laughs> Walking Shout. the street. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I think this will be a nice place to park ourselves. Let's watch that beautiful sunset. at the car and the van. I think uh, the temperature's starting to drop a little bit. Look at that sky though. Absolutely epic. All right, all ready for bed. The lights are on. Double duvet, because it's gonna get quite cold tonight. Dave's been kind enough to fill my hot water bottle up for me. 
And then I'll secure the curtain to the driver's side. A nice little cozy night tonight. I've got two covers tonight to keep me nice and warm. And a hot water bowl, just in case. Nothing else left to do now, but try and get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Decent now. At least I think I am. <laughs> Look at that sun. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Hey, you can't park there, mate! You can't park yourself. <laughs> see you later, mate. <laughs>